What is going on, Draw 2 Crew? Ramney here with a brand new vlog video for you guys. And I usually post my vlog videos on Wednesdays, but today I'm posting it on a Monday, primarily to give myself another day so I can have a break from drawing. And the reason for that is because of this. Essentially, I have something what's called a repetitive strain injury, or RSI, which is something that actually happens to a lot of artists. Um, ever since getting it, actually, uh, I've had it before. Uh, it hasn't been that bad, but this weekend was just like, it was inflamed a little bit last week, but it wasn't, it was pretty manageable. But this weekend, I just, it got to a point where I actually thought I needed to go see a doctor because I wasn't able to grip. I wasn't able to even do this with my fingers and taking a shower was even difficult or putting clothes on was difficult for me. I had to get my wife to help me out. So um, I got this over the weekend. And the reason why I got this and the reason why it's common for artists is pretty obvious. You use your wrist, you use your hand a lot when you draw. And if you're someone like me who draws every day, and I also, you know, on top of that, I also like edit and type, edit my videos and use the mouse every day as well. And I do all of that in combination for a good eight to 10 hours a day. Um, on top of that, when I also go exercise, you know, you're like lifting weights and all that stuff. Plus, you know, when you're on your phone, when you're on your phone, you're gripping your phone like this. If you guys are like me and you have, I have a, an iPhone 7. I'm holding my phone like this, which is, you know, it's it's actually really hard on your wrist as well. All of that in combination, you know, using your using your hand to draw, using your hands and wrists to type, um, working out and being on the phone all day, that does put a number on your body. It puts a number on your hands. It puts a number on your wrists. So that's the reason for, for this. And it's not so much a, a whether it's going to happen or not. It was for me inevitable that it was going to happen. It was a when it's going to happen situation. So I could have done a lot of things to avoid this. Uh, that's for sure. So that's why I'm here to tell you guys before, uh, like beforehand, you, you took it for granted, you know, you use your hands for a lot of things. So I never thought, oh, I don't need to exercise and all that stuff for, for drawing, but uh, you actually do. And a lot of artists go through this as well. And when I did a little bit of research, I found a lot of articles on YouTube uh, from artists and I found a lot of uh, videos by artists and especially animators um, because animators, they use their mouse a lot on the, on the computer a lot. I saw a lot of videos of people talking about this. Now, I am by no means a healthcare professional. Actually, I am. Um, if you guys didn't know, I worked at a hospital before becoming a teacher. Um, I wanted to be a nurse, but uh, I quit that a long time ago. Um, so I am by no means uh, an expert on this, but uh, there are some tips that I learned just from looking online. And also uh, I'll put links down in the description below of the articles and the videos that I found the most useful, the top one being the most useful for me um, of the things that I found when I was doing some research. And by research, I meant Googling and YouTubing. Uh, uh, about repetitive strain injury, most specifically for artists. Okay, so I wrote a couple of things down that you guys should keep in mind when you guys are, when you're aspiring artists, aspiring animators. Um, main thing, the main thing you guys is posture and that's your head and that's your shoulders. And the main thing that you want is when you're looking at your, when you're looking at your drawing, you're looking down a lot. So you wanna make sure that you um, either position yourself uh, get an art desk that makes it so that you're sitting at a position where you're not looking down like this at your drawing. So if, I mean, for, for a lot of you guys, you're just kids, so uh, it's not doable at this time, but figure out a way to make it so that you're not looking down at your drawing, but you're making it, you're drawing it more naturally like this, okay? So for most artists, for a lot of artists, they buy those uh, inclined artists tables, the ones that are diagonal like this. And that's one thing that I don't have yet in my office. I actually don't have any room for it, but I hope to have one one day. But I have to figure out how to mount a camera on top of it without being angled. So that's a little bit weird, but we'll figure that out some other day. Okay, so your head needs to be not looking down so much when you're drawing. And your shoulders, I'm gonna switch them aside here. A lot of people when they're on their computer, when they're drawing, they tend to like hunch their shoulders close to their ears like this which is a no-no, make sure your, your shoulders are relaxed. And a lot of people push their, uh, push their shoulders forward like this so that their chests are like, their, their chest is flexed and their back is stretched. But that's, that's not a natural position either, right? You wanna make sure that your shoulders are back and your shoulders are resting 
kind of in line with your head and your neck. I'm a little bit sweaty right now. I just turned the air conditioning on because it's really, really hot. Okay, so those are like those are some things that you guys should be keeping in mind when you're ever if ever you're drawing, right? You want to be you want to be natural. You want to you want your body to be in a more relaxed state and not you know not tight and like bunched up like this. Um, another thing, you guys, is when you are drawing, use your arm and use your uh, use your elbow when you're drawing. Don't use your wrist. I can't do it with this. It hurts. <laughs> But uh, like a lot of people, when they draw, they use their wrist and this is how they draw. This uh, is actually, I discourage it because it gives you uh, not a huge range of motion. Imagine when you're using your elbow and you're using your, your arm uh, and shoulder to draw, you'll have a better range of motion. And you notice that my wrist stays, stays relaxed, or like stays straight and it doesn't move when I'm drawing. So avoid this because that'll hurt your wrist do more of this, okay? Um, another thing is take breaks. Uh, for me, because, I mean, having having a YouTube channel, it's a little bit stressful. You have to have a video all the time. So you're always in, you know, constantly trying to create something and there's always a deadline. But for you guys, um, if there's no, if there's, I mean, if there's time, um, if, if you have a long drawing, um, and you're, do, and you're doing it for fun and there's no like there's no deadline to it, take your time and take breaks, right? Uh, always take breaks. Those breaks are always really good. And when you take a break, um, do some stretches. Again, I'll put a link down in the description for like the stretching exercises that I've been using the past couple of days to rehabilitate myself. Like I can't, I can't even do like, I don't have full range of motion on this wrist right now, but if I did, I would be doing those stretches full well. Like those stretches were really good. This doesn't hurt as much, but uh, this is where, you know, I really need to do a lot of stretches. Um, <clears throat> also like exercise. Exercise is really important. You want to build those muscles up. You don't want like weak muscles. You want strong muscles that can, um, you know, you shouldn't be straining them, but at the same time, you want your muscles to be strong enough to like withstand some tension, no, like with, withstand like some weight to them, right? Yeah, or some pressure to them. So you want to make sure that when you're, um, when you're, when you're on the computer or on your desk all the time, that you also take the time to be active, uh, get the blood flow going through your body because the blood flow, it goes like when your blood is flowing through your body, it's bringing in like the oxygen, it's bringing in like the, the, like all the nutrients that your body needs, that your muscles need to heal and all that stuff. So you wanna make sure that you build that up, that you always exercise as well. And uh, yeah, another thing is to just avoid using your phone because you know, when you're holding your phone like this, it's actually a pain in the butt and it really, like it, a lot of people just hold the phone like this. You will get sore after a while, especially if you're like mine. I like to have like a clear case so that you can see, you can see that my phone is red. But this case is slippery, so I'm having to like hold it a certain way. And this right here, um, this, if I hold it for long periods of time, my, my, my pinky will actually get pretty numb from holding it like this. So um, stay off the phone, uh, don't use your phone too much. And uh, another recommendation, of course, is to find a phone case that's easy for you to grip, easier for you to grip for long periods. So those are my recommendations. Um, that's it, you guys. Uh, my other videos are going to come tomorrow is when I do the drawing today is going to be the, the vlog. So I just switched it around. So I have another day to recover from this and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, again, make sure to check those links down below, especially if you have these kinds of injuries, make sure to avoid them. If you haven't had any yet, um, let me know if you have any like wrist injury stories. Um, and it's pretty common. It's happened to a lot of people. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, thank you so much for understanding, you guys. Tutorial will come uh, this week. Don't worry. Um, still just trying to re rehabilitate my arm. So until then, take care, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your arms and hands. Take care of your bodies. And I'll see you next time.